Okay, this is video three of the tropical fruit from Seed Series, and this is guava. And we have true leaves, meaning it's the leaves that came after the initial leaves. Like here, you can see. So that, so this one actually has other seeds in it, so I can show you the stage. So that's when it's just popped up and the seeds do attach. And once the seed falls, it takes, seems like to take about a week, it has uh, the, these uh, baby leaves. And then after the baby leaves, so I think last week it was baby leaves. And then a week later, you have these true leaves. And then these other ones I have over here are bigger so this is in a lot of sun right now and i just been moving it but i haven't as much because of the heat wave we have so guava loves the heat it could withstand it and let me just get rid of this weed it definitely can withstand it better than than the yeah, pomegranate the see like these were all during the same time but see the variation in how big it is so i probably would keep this as my two main plants and i probably should split them soon and probably more fertilizer but oh yeah just for comparison at the time i started this i also started my chili bird's eye pepper and you can see how look at the difference in uh, growth if you look at the original video, you could see that these, um, when they first started shooting out like that, they were all like at this at this kind of stage. And look how big this got compared to guava. Is that so? Definitely a slower growth. Over here, I also have a tray of guavas as well. This was inside my house by this really hot room. You can see it it's sprouted and this, these are at a later stage i'm not sure what i'm going to do with all these seedlings but just growing them for now just in case you can see germination was very good oh yeah i know this is from seed and i technically did not start this but my neighbor gave me these papaya seedlings and i just have them under my hydrangeas so it gets a little like like dample shade moving on to rainbow tints jump jump this is a second attempt doing it and last i posted they were just seedlings like i don't even think they were really emerging out yet and i had them in paper towels and just three days ago they started emerging like the photos i'm showing here they look very odd it's like they kind of split from the center a little bit while the roots are developing these two photos are the same seed here is a side by side so one side you can see the it's cracking and then the other side that's what it looks like to be conservative i'm estimating this took around two and a half weeks uh, using the paper towel method and that's not wrapping them in paper towel, just having a wet paper towel and having them in the glad bag with the paper towel. They are just very sensitive to just too much moisture. I have gone mold in the past, so that's why I'm doing it like this. My first attempt, the sun and the heat was just too much for it, even if it did get some partial shade. So for the second attempt, I'm going to try to baby as much as possible and keeping it in the shed. I also looked up another way to germinate them and there was a gardener in Vietnam who shared that you should just put the Rambletons on top of moist soil. He said to just make sure you keep the seeds moist. So I just been checking every day and keeping the soil moist with, with the plastic Home Depot bag you saw earlier. I was thinking of just putting it in a container, but then I was scared of cooking it since it's so hot, since it's like almost 100 degrees these past couple of days. So here, that root is a little exposed. I'm just trying to cover it with this soil mix. Probably water this a little more and then just cover with this plastic bag. 
to keep the moisture in somewhat. Moving on, remember these pomegranate seeds? Well, so I had two batches, one that I had outside with the guava seeds, and the guava seeds were able to survive pomegranates. They all got cooked. However, having more experience under my belt, I saved some of the seeds from the same pomegranate. So that's what the picture is showing. And I just had those in water in a glad bag in my kitchen. So when the other ones fail, I just use these to germinate and pot them up. I have actually started pomegranate seeds in the past and it went way faster and I think it was because I just put them in the soil. So pomegranate does better in just tossing in the soil and having them warm up by the sun in the springtime. So if you keep in mind what I did wrong, you will probably have made much more progress in five weeks than I have. But either way, here it is. I'm very excited about it. You would think everything was smooth sailing after that, but it did not. I actually had another seedling that I killed. What happened was that it was above the soil, so I put it in more and I gave it more water, and then it just died. So this one came up a couple of days ago, and it's just been kind of like this for a few days. I put this next to the window seal in the shed. Okay, we had to retreat back inside, but I'm going to show you something crazy. So this is the mandarin that I bit into and it rotted a little bit, but I kept it in the paper towel because it was still green and I checked it the other day. So <gasps> Nick, don't touch it, please. Oh, my son's next to me. Oh no, I'm not sure if it will survive, but you see how it's still green? Yeah. And look, look, if you look very carefully, you see there's like a little something from the root that's coming out so i wonder because i've been researching mandarin and citrus and they say that they have multiple embryo polyembryonic something like that so which means it just has multiple like if you think about like humans multiple eggs like multiple embryos so multiple babies so i believe one of them survived and it's sprouting up can you see that green thing coming up so this survives. That is wild. Okay. So it would be, I would call it survivor. <laughs> survivor. And over here are the other uh, mandarin, uh, like small citrus. And I swear, like for the whole bag that you usually get, there wasn't that many seeds, but then one of them had all the seeds and that is literally from one of this and i think i took a video of it i might have to do some of these videos separately because i don't want to get these too long oh no uh oh so this one you can see this is the trouble with paper towel method sometimes is the roots get cost uh, get caught in the paper towel but what i usually do is i just kind of rip the paper towel apart and the root usually stay intact and as you can tell, I also peel away at the, the film outside of the shell. So this one sprouted. So we just have to wait on the others. And I guess we'll just have to pick the strongest one that survived. I've been on, uh, at the grocery store, I've been trying to find other varieties, but there's really not much. And here is some more of the purple sweet. Oh, sugar apples. I keep thinking sweet apples. And I have another video on this. Oh, wait. There's only four. I thought there were five. Did they get stuck somewhere? Oh, here. There's this other one. This other one has a weird hole on it. So I wasn't sure if there was like a bug in it. So I just moved it aside. Look. You see it? You see that small hole? What is that? It's so weird. But as you can see, I try to wound the seed. And you can see the white part. So hopefully, this is where the root should come out. And it looks like something is coming out there. Hopefully, this is not like a bug coming out. And these are the paper towel one. There was one that was kind of cracking more. 
Oh, Leah, you see that? Oh, excuse my fingernail. I just constant. I usually garden somewhat in the morning. Oh, it's look like it's gonna come out. So this was I started these after my other ones just to make sure. So I have to check the. Oh my god, look at this one. Oh, can you see that? So this one's cracking even more. So if you get seeds online, which is what I did because these aren't in uh, store right now, definitely wound them more. And by wounding it more, I mean using nail clippers. I go into more detail in this other video on sugar apples. I'll uh, link it in the description and maybe the comment section. Here's one that uh, germinated. So I'm very excited. I have it. It's in its own pot right now. So uh, more update on that and hopefully by next week we can see some growth. And I moved my Envy Apple and the Asian pear because I think it was getting stressed from having too much sun. So I'm going to water it some more. Oops, sorry. I'm going to water it some more and you can see it was getting more stressed. But this is doing so much better. This is the Envy Apple and let's see how... F That's my finger. I should probably start measuring something. And look at this. So this is not sure why there's such a height difference. That wasn't the case before. I'm not sure what's going on. Maybe because it's kind of like a mutant. You see how like the leaves are all crazy? <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. I'm thinking that maybe I can graft this once it get bigger to my other pear tree. We'll see. But I'm very excited. Okay. And the side note, since we're talking about tropical, I know I'm going on like a my neighbor actually gave me, I believe, I think it's um, May Pop, something like that, the passion fruit. And I'm going to water it, so I'm going to keep the lid. And I'll, maybe I'll keep updating with this too, because it's kind of like tropical and I don't. it's my first time growing it, so I'm pretty stoked about it. And okay, this video is getting pretty long. I want to talk more stuff, but I want to keep these uh, updates a little shorter. But before we end, I also want to give you an update that, oh my gosh, I got new seeds. I, I know, I, I need to stop, but I can't. Um, I was watching some videos and they were taste testing diamond guava and these like other vit people like kind of lost their mind when they ate it. So I'm like, oh my God. So I had to get the seed and I know it could have passed crop. Yeah cross-pollinated and it won't be true but i'm just really hoping on the monoculture here so i'm just really 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 hope betting on that and then something else is i just been calling it mangao which is a sugar apple in vietnamese but uh, apparently there's a new variety it's a hybrid it's called atomoya and i got seeds for that too and of course it's a hybrid so i know i'm gonna be rolling the dice but the thing is i'm betting on the genetics of this one just being either sweet or sour and i'm just really hoping it's gonna be good or i would just have to learn how to graph which i think at this level when you get into fruit tree growing you just have to learn how to graph so we'll see. I'm very, very, very excited. I got it. I got it all from the same Etsy store. Anyways, stay tuned. I can't wait to share what's been happening with all the seedlings and how they've been developing and anything fun or cool that I learned since the last update. I'm going to try to do these updates weekly. Uh, so maybe I'm aiming for, I don't know, Monday through Wednesday. Uh, we'll see. But I do want to try it so that every time I update, a week has passed. 